Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got Tekken 6 for your second match on the main stage, and we are pitting Korea versus Korea on this one. Bin Chang versus Ni nee going head to head in Tekken 6 here at the Grand Finals. Yeah, that's right. So we are going to see which one of these two players will be representing their countries in the semifinals of the WCG Tekken 6 Grand Finals. You know, and this is amazing. We just saw a great matchup between Prodigal Son. You know, he got taken out by Ao. It was a very good matchup. He started to come back in the end, but really it's all yeah. about the beginning. The Ao's Elisa rushdown was just way too much for Prodigal Son. And now we're going to see these guys heading off. And if I believe if they're almost ready, we are going to get this match underway for them. All right. Let's do it without any further ado. And like we said, Rage Aura plays a huge role in second. It's a very big juggle game, a very big combo game, very exact button hitting game. And you got to make sure you hit those combos. If you mess up your combo on the way through, it's not really going to do too much damage unless you really do a heavy attack and it leaves you open. But really, you need to focus on if they're blocking too much, you need to you need to slow down, back it up, get that spacing, make them throw that punch and get that bait throw out there. We are going to see, I believe, a Brian versus Lars match unless they are going to set up and do buttons. But I think they are ready. All right. Let's do it. So Brian versus Lars, Nee versus Bin Chang, Korea versus Korea. It is going to go down right now. Unfortunately, one of these players is going to have to take the other out in a little bit of a, not rivalry, but really to represent their country as the first. And we are going to see here what they have for each other. We are going to have Nee on your left, Bin Chang on your right, Lars versus Brian. Brian, a very versatile character, grabs, punches, kicks. Lars also very strong, a very rushed down character. So these guys are going to be an aggressive match right now. 60 seconds starting on the clock, and we're already 15 in, and both have done damage. A good grab, a counter out of that one. Continuing to just go for punches, trying the mids, not working it out there. Good highs coming out of the hands of Knee. Good answer by both characters. Sidestepping now, there's the spacing. Looking for that bait attack, looking for where they can throw it in. That low game, low game coming out of nowhere. Very nice job, Lars with the juggle. Coming up very big on Bin Chang's side. Will he be able to do this damage to the wall? Not in the rage aura right now. Me has to be very careful about what he does, but now he has it. And will he choose to be aggressive with it? Going for that high attack. Brian can start that off, bounce him off the ground and juggle it. But Bin Chang just too strong. Yeah, taking that round at number one. So round number two is underway. Another 60 second round coming up here. So both players are just trying to feel each other out. Lars has switched to the left side of the screen there, trying to do some damage. Mid punch is going there for knee, not really connecting. Nice blocking going on there, trying to land the double. Very nice blocking by both of these players right now. Low sweep trying to land, not working out. So just trying to find an opening, and there we go, into the juggle. Very nice job there by Nee, continuing up against the wall now. Oh. He's got a rollout, very nicely done there, getting away from that wall. So Bin Jang is okay for the moment. He is a little lower on AP, has to be careful. Another nice juggle there, and uh, this is not looking too good for Bin Jang. A very nice answer, showing that, you know, first round may have been a fluke. We're gonna have to see what Nee can bring out here. And you know, like you said, during the juggle, you really can't do anything. Taking your hands off the controller is really the best thing to do until you know you can time that rollout, get it out, and possibly get that wake-up attack if you still have it going, or just get up and play that defense. Right now, nice mid-game coming out of the hands of Brian. Knee doing what he can, but an answer back in the rebuttal from Bin Chang now, not giving him an inch. Can Knee breathe on this one, needing a little bit of oxygen, he spaces. Waiting to go back in. Knee must make this one count if he wants to take this round on his next attack. A good block by both. Going for the air, but the fast attack just beats the frames of the air attack on Knee's side. And Bin Jang and now takes it two rounds to one here. So Knee has to win this round or this game will go to Bin Jang here. So coming out pretty strong with those mid kicks there. Looks like Bin Jang trying to do some answer. Both players are just trying to get the other into that combination. And there it goes. Sends Bin Jang flying, getting that juggle. And very nice there. So just continuing to pound away, getting that multiplier against the wall and just doing so wow. much damage. They're very impressive like by Nick. Round for Good round right now. These guys are just going back and forth. And it's rush down both times. Both yeah. of them playing a little defensive, them playing offensive. It's just they're turning the tide each time, going for that low game. Like I said, that low game can chip your character open, chip your opponent rather open. Also open him up for that combo, a grab miss, and he will counter on that error of Bin Chang. And a good amount of damage will now be done for Knee. 
Holding back, 40 seconds left in the round. They're not gonna need any of this time to make that happen. About four bar health now for your Bin Chang side, but he answers here just out of rage or this is a very dangerous spot to be. If Brian can get up and do a small damage attack without giving him that rage aura or a chance to rebuttal, he will be able to take this round very well. There it is, but he does leave him with it. Will he be able to get this attack in one after the other? There is the juggle and the rage aura could prove useful here. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the first round wow. to Bin Chang. That was awesome. So every time they Very, get into that, that rage, rage aura, man, detrimental. Totally de detrimental damage there going detrimental on. Detrimental damage. <laughs> so an amazing first matchup, obviously. Match. The wall damage playing a big role, obviously, when they have that rage aura, as you saw, Bin Chang just coming out instantly and like i said that was a very scary spot to have you don't have rage or yet and you still have a sliver of health but juggle's gonna take you down with rage or you feel a little bit more confident to get in there and make your attack happen here we go big t on to your second matchup and our best out of five the first to bin chang all right so it looks like bin chang is coming out very strong right now um wearing knee down to about 50 percent hp there so they're not sorry there goes the juggle for knee though re returning the damage there up against the wall is he going to be able to roll out of there it does not look like it so doing a lot of damage and then oh so continuing to do damage there and wow very well played there against the wall uh, yeah very nice just going for the low game he knew he wasn't going to combo out of it but he can do it multiple times and that's all the damage he needed to do playing it very safe on knee's side he know he needs to get around back you're not going to see too much rush down out of him right now he's going to be looking for those bait attacks right there he goes to the aerial and it looks like bin chang won on that one but they are going to get space here a very good low attack good block string coming out of the hands of knee as he goes to answer both of these characters knowing they are just going to attack instantly after it's the move they're going to do whether they have to block high or low or mid if you're mid to high you can block any of those but if they go low you're going to be opened up and if you're low they can hit you with that high a very nice attack that is going to do damage through the floor. And again, coming up on another round for yeah. Brian. Yeah, going back and forth here. This is very intense. I mean, I expect nothing less between these two Korean players. Tip for tap. Yeah, exactly. Both very high caliber players here. So this is going to be round number three, Nee versus Bin Chang, who is going to represent their country in the semifinals. It all comes down to this. And it looks like Bin Chang is... Uh, trying to put on some pressure with those punches there. Not finding an opening though, so it's very, uh, very close right now. And there it is opening up for Knee, getting his combination in, up against the wall, and there is the grab, slamming, slamming Bin Chang down into the ground, doing a lot of damage there. Um, but this, uh, this match is far from over, still 18 seconds left in the round here. So a lot of time left, very even on HP. They have to start getting conscientious of the clock right now. It oh, is yeah. winding down. Nine more seconds remaining. Trying to do as much damage as they can the before the time runs out. And Nia is definitely winning this battle here. And there is a KO with two seconds left on the wow, clock. Wow, look at that. The rush down in the end of the game. Caught him off guard, trying to get off. Like I said, you can't hit any buttons when that's happening. You just got to let it happen until you know you can roll out safely. So now we got one round in favor of Bin Chang. Two now for Nee, and Nee looking to take one in favor in this best out of five to even it up versus his teammate from Korea. We do have that Korea matchup going off here at WCG 2010, that 10th anniversary being hosted by beautiful Los Angeles, California. If you are in the area at the LA Convention Center, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. It hardly costs anything to come in. You're gonna get amazing matches all day long if you're tuning in on the stream. We love having you guys, and we hope you enjoy the matches. We had a lot more coming for you today. Tons more second on the main stage. 20 seconds on the round as Korea takes off. 1v1 right now, Bing Chang versus Nee. The last Ooh. two left, and it will be Ooh. a very nice three by Nee on that one. Wow, that was very nice. So Nee was able to take the next game, tying everything up here. So uh, very impressive going battle. back and forth, round for round, game for game. Did you expect anything less? I uh, No, I really didn't. Nee always coming out very strong. Bin Chang obviously coming out very strong. Both of them have that versatile character to stay in the face, have that rush down tactic, and they both know how to use that rage or and bait out the attack to get it done. Nothing very flashy, but like you said, it gets yeah, the job exactly. done. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Play it safe. All right, so we have round number one started for game number three, and both players are currently tied one to one, so this is going to be very pivotal, and both players are starting off fairly even at the moment. 
Nice punches there, trying to find that opening. That's what it's all about. Oh, nice little counter there by Vin J. Not going to get grabbed up there. Um, stunning there for a minute, and that sets up the juggle there. So landing a nice combination. Um, so Vin J is down right now. A lot of time left. Still doing damage. There goes the Rage. The Rage does kick in. Knee isn't able to finish him off. Is Vin J going to be able to take advantage of the situation here? He still has a little bit of health. Time is running down, though, so he has to do a move. Six seconds left on the clock. Is he going to be able to finish this out? It is so close right now. Two seconds left. He has to do something. Oh! Oh, wow. Zero. Zero seconds on the clock, both in Ray Dora. This is exactly what the Grand Finals is about, ladies and gentlemen. Korea versus Korea right now. Knee versus Bin Chang. Knee playing very well as down one in the deficit coming back a game now tied up versus bin chang and now he has the upper hand with one round in his favor in this best out of three to give himself two rounds in the best out of five he is going to need two more full matches after this as well as bing chang needing the same but right now bin oh. chang just handling me on that round back and forth back and forth this is absolutely amazing but like you said i expect nothing less this is the semifinals. Exactly. these players are the best in the world ladies and gentlemen so they are just trading rounds right now. Round number two did go to Vin Chang, so they are all tied up. And uh, Nia is trying to do something. Oh, very nice, very nice. So doing a lot of damage there. Both players fairly even, getting a lot of punches in, sizing each other up, getting that spacing right where they wanted to set up that juggle. Um, close combat going on there. And uh, some nice punches trying to find that opening. Who is going to get it, land that combination. 24 seconds left on the clock here. And there goes the kick there. Not being able to set up the jungle, but there goes knee. And just that that oh, that combination just does so much the, damage. The wake up DP. <laughs> Getting it out, Lars. Or Brian, rather, doing a very good job of that. Like we said, Brian in the hands of knee. Lars in the hands of Bin Chang here at the grand finals for World Cyber Games. Your semifinals happening right now at the Los Angeles Convention Center. Live on stage, myself, Rivington the third and Big T bringing it to you as Bin Chang again rushing down knee, not giving a chance to breathe. Good, very nice rebuttal by knee there. Throws him to the ground with the counter. A beautiful job and not giving up the mids and the high. Good block coming out of the hands of Bing Chang there again with the mids into the Rage Aura. And this is where Bin Chang really, really goes aggressive. Oh. A very nice job. And knee has come back from the one deficit to now be up by one. Wow, able to finish him off there with that knee there. Knee. Knee using the knee to finish him off. Yeah, yeah, really. Actually, he did. No pun intended. So we got possibly one more match. That's right. So if yeah. Knee can take it. Knee needs one more to close it out. Bin Chang needs another two. And I would not be surprised if this does go to a next game here. So these players are very even, as we've seen so far. Um, so it is Lars versus Brian. Knee versus Bin Chang. So Knee getting that early juggle there so wearing Vin Chang's down but Vin Chang has done a really nice job with his rage usage thus far in this match so I would not count him out just wow. yet though is he going to get a chance to breathe no he is not knee I don't I, I think he might have had like a vitamin water or something before this first match before this match here because he just came out way too strong for Vin Chang to really do anything about that as we come out of the come out of the gate on this one we got one inch of health now off of Brian's side Knee not really worried about it as he is actually getting taken down oh, a little on his heels. Bin Chang starting to take the upper hand as he just chips away slightly. That low game being played. Spacing here, you're gonna see him try to throw out that bait attack and there it is, he goes for the kick. But he goes for the block as well and he stops at 30 seconds on the clock. These guys playing that spacing game a lot and the time actually almost running out twice in these matches because they're trying to play it so safe. They know what each other are doing. I don't know how many times they probably played against each other and they've mirrored exactly. this match. So we are seeing, you know, history in the making here between these two as Korea faces off. There's Brian the with the rage, coming in strong, has him up against the wall, will not let him get up. Does he get the chance to roll out? Oh, wow, ladies and gentlemen, a very smart and good play on the wall by Nee. Well, Nee showing that he, uh, Bin Chang, is not the only one who can take advantage of that rage factor. 
So Neve doing very impressive there with his back up against the wall. So Neve is now currently up two rounds. Only needs one more round to close out the game and this series. Is he going to get it done or is Bin Chang going to come back here in this round? And so far, it is not looking good. I mean, he did a nice little juggle there, trying to even things back up. But uh, Brian has a slight advantage as Cage do so much damage. And there's the juggle up against the wall. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You wow. know, a very good game. Wow. You know, at, at some point at some point in time, it just comes down to momentum and mentality. And you know what? He had the confidence. He was very strong on his game. He was going for his fast attacks to open up. Played that low game to chip away very well. And he came out with the win in the end. Knee actually eliminating his own partner from Korea in the semifinals to go on and win it for Korea. Yeah, it was a very unfortunate draw there. But I mean, both of these players played very well. Knee just coming out so strong there, taking those rounds one, two, three, like they, the rest of them weren't even that close. So that was very well done. We got some more finals matches coming for you right after this, ladies and gentlemen. Tekken 6 on the main stage. Stay tuned. World Cyber Games 2010 here in Los Angeles, California.